the area model, the area model, the area model. Basically, no matter what, the area model is your friend. Yeah, that's that. Okay, good video. Ugh. Happy New Year, 2021. What a year. What a what a brand new opportunity. New times, new videos, new everything. You may have seen this already. So 2021 is an interesting number. It is the current year. But beyond that, you may have seen that it's the product of two prime numbers. It's 43 times 47. In fact, they're not just two prime numbers, they're two consecutive prime numbers. But that's actually not what's interesting to me about them. What's interesting to me about these two numbers is that they fit a particular pattern. It's been a while, but we're gonna do a number trick today. These two numbers fit a particular pattern for fast multiplication. The way that this particular trick works is we need two, mostly two digit numbers. As always, you can extend these tricks, but it works best with two two digit numbers that share the same tens digit and whose ones digits add up to 10. So that might sound a little bit strange. Might be easier if I give you some particular examples. So we've got several examples here. Let's quickly multiply these and see if we can figure out what's going on. So this one is gonna be 621, 3016, 4209, 5624. All right, I'm gonna pause here. What is it that I'm doing each time? What have you noticed? Well, first of all, let's go back to that pattern. What we said, is that we were gonna have some tens digits in common. So you'll notice in all these cases, the tens digits are the same, and then the ones digits would add up to 10. So for example here, three plus seven is 10, two plus eight is 10, one plus nine is 10, and so on. You might have noticed as we went, some products from those numbers that add up to 10. For example, three times seven is 21, two times eight is 16, one times nine is nine, although we need two digits, so we write down zero nine. Four times six is 24. What comes next? As you look at those three times seven, you should recognize, oh, that's gonna end in 21. Come over here to this one, 98 times 92. If you look at those ones digits, eight times two is 16. We'll do one more and then I'm gonna save the rest for practice. 46 times 44, our ones digits are six and four. Six times four we've already seen is 24. So our last two digits, according to this pattern that we're starting to notice, are just the product of the two ones digits that add up to 10. We'll see why that is in a little bit, but for now we just want to use that fact. The way that we use our tens digits might be a little bit more hidden, might be a little bit more difficult for you to see what's going on there. So what's the relationship between a pair of twos and a six, or a pair of fives and a 30, or a pair of sixes and a 42? Look at the two and the two. How does two relate to six, right? Well, it's actually two times three isn't it? How does 5 relate to 30? Well, it's actually 5 times 6. How does 6, for that matter, relate to 42? Well, it's actually 6 times 7. Can you see what's happening here with our 7s and our 56? To start with a 7 but end up with a 56, you need to do 7 times 8. So in each of these cases, we're taking whatever the tens digit is and we're multiplying it by the next consecutive integer up. So for example, the eights here, we know we're gonna take an eight and we're gonna multiply it by the next consecutive integer up, which is nine. Eight times nine is 72. And so that's why 83 times 87 is 7,221. What about a pair of nines, right? Well, we know that what we wanna do is take a nine, multiply by the next consecutive integer up, which is 10, and that makes 90. So we've got 9,016. One more here, four times five is what we want, the next consecutive integer up, and that's why 46 times 44 is gonna work out to 2,024. If you want, you can pause the video, take a look at these next three, see if you can quickly figure them out. I'm gonna do a freeze frame. Okay, that's long enough for my freeze frame. 37 times 33, our ones digits multiply up to 21, and then let's take those threes three times four makes 12, and so that's 1,221. 56 times 54, 3,024. If you pause the video and you're checking your work now, you got it right, well done, I'm confident in you, I believe it. 35 times 35, this one's interesting. There are a number of tricks we can use when we're multiplying a number by itself, that process is also called squaring, but if the ones digit is a five, this is a particularly good candidate. Of course, it's gonna end in 25, five times five is 25, and then three times four, we want those consecutive integers again, 1,225. 
So that's the trick. You multiply the ones digits and write it down. That becomes the last two digits of your product. You take whatever the tens digit is, multiply it by the next consecutive integer. That becomes the first two digits of your product. If you're in the teens or the twenties, I, in fact, we've got this one up here. It might be a three digit product, but anything above the twenties, of course, you will end up doing a four digit product for. Now what's actually going on here, right? How is this trick really working? Well, let's take some of these examples. Let's do something like 23 times 27 and let's use our old friend the area model right the box method for multiplication the 20s when we multiply them together give us 400 the 3 times the 7 down here gives us 21 you might know okay that's where the 21 is going to come from but then where does the 6 come from because we have 400 here well 20 times 7 is 140 20 times 3 so this length times that length 20 times 3 gives us 60 and so when you put these two together you end up with 200 and of course 400 plus the 200 plus 21 is what gives you 621. Let's try this again and see if we can generalize after that. Let's say we had 74 times 76. We know of course that the 70 times the 70 is going to be 4,900 so let's write that down. We also know that the 6 times the 4 is 24 and if we remember the answer a second ago 5,624 we're anticipating that's where the 24 is coming from. But what are these other two boxes? 70 times 6 is where we get 420. 70 times 4 is where we get 280. And it just so happens that 420 plus 280 is another 700. 4,900 plus 700 plus 24 is where we're getting 5,624. So perhaps you're starting to get a sense, okay, so we're squaring something and then we're adding a 100 that's related to the tens digit we were using. So we're squaring a number essentially and then adding it back to its Itself. Down here that meant squaring 7 to get the 49 and then adding a 7 to that 49 to get the 56. Well, why is this happening, right? Why is it working out that these middle two boxes end up adding to some multiple of 100? Well, if we state this in general, let's call this 10K plus A, and we're gonna multiply that by 10K plus B, where we're gonna give a little proviso, A plus B has to be 10. So in what sense is this describing the pattern we were looking at? Well, you know, take something like, I think we did 56, times 54. Both these numbers are in the 50s, and so their tens digit is going to be a 5. That means that k here would be 5. And then the ones digits, which I'm calling a and b in general, had to add up to 10. So here a was 6, here b was 4. But what happens when we take this 10k plus a and multiply it by the 10k plus b? The 10k times 10k is 100k squared. So that's where that square is coming from. We were talking about here on this page. 2 squared is 4, 7 squared is 49. And then down here, of course, a times b is just a b. That's where that product AB is coming from. The interesting part, though, is what happens here in the middle. Plus 10KA plus 10KB if we multiply all that stuff out. So let's write this product out. 100K squared plus 10KA plus 10KB plus AB. Well, again, it's this middle part here. These two boxes here where something interesting is happening. So let's factor this a little bit and see what we can figure out. The 10K is what they have in common, so that comes out of both of those middle terms. The a and the b is what they do not have in common, so we're going to keep those separate, a plus b. But we already knew something about a plus b, didn't we? We said a plus b was just going to be equal to 10. And so what this ends up turning into is 100k squared plus 10k times 10 plus ab, or also known as 100k squared plus 100k, because of course the 10 times the 10 is what's going to give us that 100 plus the AB. And now hopefully you're seeing, oh, this is why that AB comes all the way down to the final product. Everything else has to do with the hundreds digits and beyond. And so my ones digit and my tens digits just going to be occupied by that product a, B. In most cases, 2 times 8, 3 times 7, 4 times 6, and 5 times 5, that product is a two-digit number, and we just write down that two-digit number. In the one case where we're using 1 and 9, that product, of course, is just a one-digit number, but we have to use two digits anyway, and so that's why we wrote 0, 9 in that particular case. As far as the 100k squared plus 100k, you can even do a little bit further factoring 
and realize, oh, that's the same thing as 100k times k plus 1, if you factor out the common 100k. Again, the 100 has to do with its placement. We're saying place it at the hundreds digit and beyond. And then k times k plus 1, you'll notice, oh, that k was the tens digit we started with. Like up here in our example, we said k was 5 since our numbers were in the 50s. And then that k plus 1, that's the next consecutive integer. That's why on these examples over here, we were doing 5 times 6, 6 times 7, 7 times 8. I didn't even realize that I went in order. 8 times 9 and so on. So that's why the trick is working the way that it is. Again, if we're building multiplication tricks, particularly these two-digit multiplication tricks, the area model is your friend. If we're trying to understand how they work, the area model is your friend. Basically, no matter what, the area model is your friend. So from now on, when you notice two two-digit numbers that you're multiplying together, as we all have to do from time to time, you want to make sure to take that tens digit, multiply it by the next consecutive integer, and there that gives you your first one or two digits to the product. And then, of course, take those two ones digits that added up to 10, multiply them together, and that is the last two digits of your product. Make sure that it takes up two full digits, even if it's one times nine. That explains for you why 2021 is such a special year, 43 times 47. May all your years in the future have such interesting mathematical explanations. That's all I've got for you today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more number trick videos like this or math videos like this in the future. I will try to be back as quick as I can for other math videos this week. Enjoy the new year. I'll see you all around.